I have always hated country music on the one hand. On the other hand, I think that Country Roads is one of the greatest songs ever to be written by any human being on the entire face of the planet. Anyway, I didn't need another reason to hate country music, but here's one more. The Country Music Awards is blocking the Microsoft Activision buyout, and what do we even think about it? Up until now, we all thought this was a done deal, but Jim Ryan, the head of PlayStation who makes acquisitions all the time, was going around trying to convince the authorities that this deal was anti-competitive. We all were convinced that the deal breaker for this buyout was going to be Call of Duty being exclusive to Xbox. In a weird twist, the heads of the Country Music Awards, Willie Nelson, Keith Urban, and Garth Brooks, decided that Microsoft's Activision was in fact too competitive because, get this, that the games would be exclusive to cloud-based software. And that's actually perfect because Willie Nelson would know a thing or two about being high in the clouds. So we should really trust his judgment here. Apparently, to make the deal more appealing, Microsoft said that it would offer its games on other consoles, a la offering offering Nintendo access to Call of Duty. Imagine playing Call of Duty on a Switch or whatever the next Nintendo device is. This was apparently not enough to satisfy the demands of the Country Music Awards. Even though this deal is blocked, Microsoft still could appeal. I personally am rooting for this deal to go through. I don't own an Xbox yet. I will be on an an Xbox soon. I was actually kind of excited that Xbox would have exclusive games. When you when you think of Xbox, I mean, you don't you really what what exclusives do you think of? Halo, Fable, what State of Decay or something, and or maybe Ori and the Blind Forest. You uh, there's there's been a lot of delays lately that's been affecting a lot of people's tolerance with Xbox. Granted. Nobody wants a Cyberpunk 2077, so a delayed game is better than a rushed game, so that's 100%. But when you look at the first-party lineup, Halo was supposed to to launch with the Xbox Series X. It didn't. It it launched a year later. Fable was supposed to be coming to the Xbox systems, but where is that? Um, at least we are getting, at least Xbox owners are getting Redfall. So personally, I think Xbox could use more exclusives, even though exclusives aren't really part of Microsoft's overall strategy. If you look at one of the highest selling games of all time, Minecraft, that is owned by Microsoft. But where does it sell best? It sells best on Switch. It sells best on not Xbox. Microsoft's strategy is, is very interesting. Personally, I I would really hope that this actually does go through. I really hope they do appeal. There is a legit fear that Call of Duty does go Xbox exclusive. We know, I would think we can take Xbox at their word and it not go exclusive to Xbox for the foreseeable future. But that would be cool if it did. Personally, as 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 a dad who does not have time to devote to games like Call of Duty, I personally I personally could care less about about that. I do think that Xbox could use more exclusives. You know what? Um I had this totally wrong. Um, This was not the Country Music Awards at all. This was the UK Competition and Markets Authority. Thank you, baby. So what do you think? Do you think that this deal should go through? Are you rooting for it? Are you not rooting for it? Do you think it has major gaming implications for the entire landscape of what we were looking at here? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think that the... CMA does make a good case with its cloud gaming in Game Pass. And before we leave, 
I really do want to credit RGT85 for coming up with this whole country music joke. Actually, I, uh, if you if you read the tweet that he put out, he put out. If you read the tweet that he put out, it was actually really funny. Anyway, that's all I have for today, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.